Here we are, race fans, South Korea, a country renowned for being an entertainment powerhouse. The AMCI visits today as part of round 7 of season 2, this time at the all-new Korea International Autodrome. Hello, race fans, my name is Sebastian Cortez. Welcome to Namyang. We're about an hour south of Seoul and at the home of Hyundai N, the high-performance sub-brand of the Korean automaker. Representing that hometown pride today is the 2023 Hyundai Elantra N safety car that will leave the field around the track today. This track being one of the biggest that the AMCI has ever visited thus far at over 2.5 miles in length. Welcome to the ITZY Checkmate Hyundai N Korean Grand Prix. Let's check out today's headlines. Noah Dame is this comeback day for him. Last time out in Japan he suffered a vicious crash but today he starts on pole position. He shares the front row with Aiden Yoder who, point standings wise, is building a small gap between himself and second place, which is highly contested between Mike and Damon, Kevin Rollins, and Bree Lee. And this breaking over the week leading up to today's event, Lizzie Salem is back. The Philippine driver last competed in round 7 last season. Today, she returns for round 7 and onward until the end of the season, this time in car 28. We'll see how it plays out for her and the rest of the field, so let's go trackside and get round 7 of season 2 underway. Drivers, start your engines! And so, the itzy hunting and Korean Grand Prix starting grid looks like this. Noah Dane will start on pole position for the first time. Aiden Yoder, the championship leader, joins him in the front row. In row 2, a pair of Indy 500 winners in Bree Lee and Tristan Tobin. In row number 3, Kevin Rollins, the winner last time on in Japan, and Yuki Aiman. In row 4, the winner last time we were here in Korea, Micah Damon. And making her series comeback today, Lizzie Salem. In row 5, Valerie Paredes, joined by Mahmoud Awaludin to round out the top 10. In row 6, newly crowned TRF 2000 IndyCar champion and mega Mitzi Sergio Morales, joined by Evan Rode. In row 7, John Winokur joined by Dylan Kroon. In row 8, Gavin Beers and Spencer Beck, the last time we raced on a road course before today, Spencer won. In row 9, Aaron Wessner and defending season champion Luis Paredes. In row 10, Jimmy Spock joined by Connor Jacklin. In row 11, Winsor Beck and Ryguy Hinchcliffe. Riding shotgun today and making a big comeback, hopefully for him, is Brandon Flexman in the 47 race tech car. All right, race facts. It's over 2.8 miles, making this the biggest track the AMCI has visited to date. It's eight laps that await the drivers today, and we'll get it going with a full-on standing start. All right, a couple of track elements to take note of before we start. The start and finish line straightaways are actually in different locations on the track. The top side is the starting line, and the bottom of your screen is the finish line. As well, during the race, drivers will be taking this bus stop chicane over here, but for the race start, we'll be lining up all along that straightaway. Speaking of that bus stop chicane, here comes the Elantra and safety car into that aforementioned chicane. The field now in the hands of Noah Dame and Aiden Yoder. Welcome to the ITZY Checkmate Hyundai and Korean Grand Prix. Buckle up and hold on tight, it is about to get real. And it is on from Namyang, round 7 is underway. No one then gets away well, as does Bree Lee. In fact, Lee got away better than Aiden Yoder. She's got second place at this moment as they go into Yuna's roundabout for the first time. A clean start, it seems, for everyone here today. So they're going to go through the bus stop chicane and all 23 drivers will make it through. Here's Noah Dame continuing a comfortable lead here. As his rear wing falls out, that's going to cause a caution in Sector 3 for Debris. It doesn't seem to be causing too many issues, so it's only Sector 3 where the caution is as he gets out of pit lane clean as John Whitaker comes in to the pit lane. That's an interesting call for the men from Woking in the Papaya Orange. John Whitaker is in the pits getting some fuel and tires early as is his teammate Winsor Beck. 
We'll see how that plays out for the Papaya Orange crew. Interesting battle here for third place between Morales and Yoder. Yoder has just hit the wall. Aiden Yoder into the wall. Caution flag is out. And I mean a full course caution here, not just Sector 3. Aiden Yoder has just pounded the wall, coming out of the starting line straight away. As the Elantra and safety car goes back out onto the track, let's have a look at the replay and see what happened. It's just hard racing between Sergio Morales and Aiden Yoder. These are two good buddies who love some hard racing. But unfortunately for Aiden, it didn't quite play out the way he would have wanted to. So car number 12, the Verizon Chevrolet of Sergio Morales, will walk away unscathed and still be in the race. As for car 44, however, his race is done four laps too early. This could be huge for the championship, but we'll have to see and we'll have to wait and see what happens there. Meanwhile, pit stops are underway. Here's Noah Dane who's staying out as he just pitted. You know who else is also staying out because they also just pitted? That's right, folks, the Papaya Orange race cars, John Whitaker and Windsor Beck. McLaren teammates will not pit. They already pitted. And John Whitaker is actually going to beat Bree Lee to the end of the finish line straight away. So he's going to take second place away from Bree Lee. This, is, this could be huge for the McLaren team, folks, as the second group of pit stops go on. That includes Gavin Beers, Lizzie Salem, and Yuki Ayman. The latter of the three will stay ahead of everyone else. Brennan Flexman actually made some great time those pit stops. So let's reset the field. Noah Dane, John Whitaker, Green Lee, Winston Beck, Sergio Morales in the top five. Here they come to the restart as the green flag waves on lap six of eight. A brilliant restart for John Whitaker and for Winston Beck. Those McLarens have shown tremendous speed as of lately and are getting better still. Here they come around the second roundabout of the racetrack and into the finish line straight away into the bus stop chicane. This is no teammates game, folks. This is every driver for themselves with just a few laps remaining in today's race. Three wide going down the finish line straight away. Winterbeck locks up. That's going to take him out of race win contention. But as for John Whitaker and Noah Dane, this is anyone's game. We'll see as they come into the bus stop chicane once more. Noah Dame having tremendous straight line speed. John Whitaker making it up and cornering as the white flag comes out for Noah Dane. One lap to go. Here's John Whitaker on board, fighting for his first career win. Round Yuna's roundabout for the last time today. Into the chicane. Here's Sergio Morales, should any of those two screw up. Noah Dane has just locked up. He misses the bus stop chicane. It's now between Whitaker and Morales. Which one of those two is going to get it? Around the S's for the last time and into the home stretch. In the 12 car, just barely inches the number five to the finish line. That means Sergio Morales has just won the Itzy Hyundai and Korean Grand Prix in a dramatic finish up against John Whitaker. And what a wild win that is for the whole number 12 team. It's celebration time for the whole number 12 team. Just a week after winning the TRF 2000 IndyCar Championship, the whole number 12 team comes home to the AMCI and wins in South Korea. Huge congratulations to that team and the handsome fellow driving the number 12, Sergio Morales. John Whitaker just has to wait a little bit longer before getting his first career win. Oh, so close today, but my oh my did he give it absolutely everything. Keep an eye out for those McLarens. They are on fire as of lately, and it's only going to get better, I believe. Bree Lee, meanwhile, Sergio's teammate completes the podium here today. And as for the rest of the top 10, Winter Beck, Noah Dame, Tristan Tobin, Kevin Rollins, Evan Road, Micah Damon, and Brennan Flexman completes your top 10. Very well done to all. And the point standings look drastically different now. There's a new leader and it's not Micah Damon, not Aiden Yoder either. It's Bree Lee with 190 points. Micah Damon is still in second, but Kevin Rollins and Aiden Yoder third and fourth. And with his second place finish today, John Whitaker moves into fifth place in the point standings. These are huge results. These are huge changes in the point standings. How much more is it going to change? We'll find out as we go back stateside for the Ford Mustang Mach E 300 at Homestead Miami Speedway. We'll see you over there then. Until then, be kind. See you all at the next event.